If any exit poll can say that BJP will win up to seven seats in Kerala, either they are uh, they are suffering heat stroke or, or they don't understand Kerala. Some of these exit polls are also laughable for other reasons. Uh, they will say that there are five uh, seats in a particular state, but BJP is going to win six. That kind of thing we have seen on these exit polls. Uh, I don't think we should take them seriously. Victory for the NDA. Well, we're seeing it with skepticism and disbelief because we have also been campaigning throughout the country. We also have a sense of what the pulse of the people is, and we don't believe it is reflected accurately in these polls. You know that uh, our Congress president yesterday, after meeting with all the India Alliance members, has said that he is convinced we are getting about 295 for the Alliance. I stick to that number. I mean, the fact is that the exit polls are based apparently on some sort of sampling, which I don't believe is terribly scientific. And certainly, if any exit poll can say that BJP will win up to seven seats in Kerala, either they are, uh, they are suffering heat stroke <laughs> or, or they don't understand Kerala. Some of these exit polls are also laughable for other reasons. Uh, they will say that there are five uh, seats in a particular state, but BJP is going to win six. That kind of thing we have seen on these exit polls. Uh, I don't think we should take them seriously. Honestly, it's a, it's a peculiar exercise that we conduct just three days before the real results. Now, people in my constituency have voted on the 26th of April. They have been waiting patiently for five weeks. They can wait two days more to get the real results rather than be misled by all this exit poll stuff. Look, I am perfectly aware that Tiruvannathapuram is the BJP's strongest constituency in Kerala, that on two occasions they have come second, and therefore they are entirely capable of coming second again. But the uh, possibility that they can actually win is at the moment a remote one because, you know, there has to be some basis for it. We have uh, really looked all over the place. There was no wave, as it were. Uh, and while I can certainly see uh, why some people might be inclined to vote in a certain direction, and the same applies to Mr. Pani and Ravindran, who has his own fans, and understandably so, in a three-cornered contest, um, there has to be nonetheless either a perception of what exactly the constituency is lacking in its present arrangements for a major anti-incumbency to occur, or there has to be a perception that there is something really wonderful about the alternative. At this stage, I don't see, and we didn't see during our entire campaign, I mean, from the 16th of March to the 26th of April, I was only in Tiruvannathapuram and every corner of the constituency, and I can tell you, I, none of us has seen anything that would justify any concern on our part. So we are quite relaxed going into tomorrow's counting. Totally, totally. And not just to Tiruvannathapuram. I'm also 100% confident that the numbers you've all seen in the exit polls for the nationwide picture will also be belied tomorrow. Okay. Thank you all Thank very you much. So much.